Zacatecas, not Zacatecas, but Zacatecas. Heading towards Monterey. Oh man, if everything happens, tomorrow's my last day in Mexico. How do I feel about that? Oh well, let's get on the bike, see how it makes me feel. 428 clicks to go. I don't know, that's like 275 miles. And I looked at the map, and it's one, one big long straight line. Ugh. Gracias. Perhaps the last time I get gasoline in Mexico. Lo siento. Well, am I getting sloppy or what? I took off with my fork and pan ear open. I don't think I lost anything. Come on, Billy, hold it together. You're almost home. Almost home. Ooh, don't get hit by a car either. Don't get rushed out of somewhere. And I wasn't rushed at all. It's just she was leaving, I was leaving. I got excited. Don't get excited. This isn't exciting. Adventure travel is not whoa, exciting. Uh, oh, I'm in America. America. Haircut. Well, switching over from kilos to miles, because we're in America. America. And where's the first place you think I'm gonna go? That's right, Starbucks, baby. Yeah. Dallas! I don't know how well the Santa works with the old nighttime vision, but it's beautiful. So I'm finally back in the USA, Dallas, Texas. International Motorcycle Show. I uh, have to do a couple things to the bike. I'm leaving it dirty, but I got a package. First thing I ordered when I got back in the United States. Let's see what's inside. Yeah. Hint, it's from Canada. Oh God. Another hint. Oh wait, it says it right there what it is. Sick. Isn't it amazing what a little piece of metal can do for you? Oh, this is sweet. Outer coated. So here's the question. Do you read the instructions or do you just go? It's only got four bolts. I mean, come on. It's a king air. That's my kind of instructions. Single pager. The installation of this brace shall be very straightforward and should take about 30 minutes. A link to the installation can be... Uh, videos? Videos? YouTube? You will need a four millimeter Allen wrench, which I don't think I have. 10 millimeter open end wrench, I have. I think I can do this. Holy cow, 29 minutes, I'm looking at the thing right here, 29 minutes and 32 seconds, and it's installed. Now that doesn't include putting the windshield, my GPS, or those boots that we're paying the butt to take off back on. So let's see how long that takes. Go. Okay, the install went well. Uh, 30 minutes, it's actually 30 minutes to put this thing on. Usually what happens is they say it's 30 minutes, but the guy who wrote the 30 minute instruction is an engineer and he needed to do say two hours for motorcyclists and then it would only take an hour and we'd feel good about ourselves. So here it is installed and it looks pretty sturdy. So you can either do one of two things. You can either read the instructions or learn the hard way like I did. There's mounting bolts under here and then there's these nylocks that go underneath. You have to put the mounting bolts on, then put these rubber boots back on that cover the headlight covers. Uh, I'm sure it says that in the instructions, but I didn't read the instructions because that's not how I roll. Are those boots on right? Anyways, the boots were actually harder to pull off than put back on. It was pretty easy. This thing installed pretty good. I got nervous because also probably in the instructions, my GPS wouldn't mount to the Honda bar. I mounted it to the uh, actual new camel bar. So it's up higher, it looks good, it looks sturdy, well-engineered. I guess you're gonna have to follow along and see, uh, see how it 
see how it lasts from here to California and beyond. Gonna go load up the bike, pack up all my stuff, and head to the uh, to the Dallas Convention Center. All right, the bike is set up. Show starts in two hours. I'm manning the Adventure Alpha. Thank you. show one presentation short day three uh, four hours and then we watch the Super Bowl Dallas okay so I'm here at the uh, Honda booth at the International Motorcycle Show and uh, I, I was a little afraid to come over here and, and see this bike because well check it out so pretty So I'm leaving Dallas. International Motor Show, Cycle Show went well. Uh, did a final check on my room, said goodbye to Meredith, and I got a text last night from someone that was at the show that invited me to do something cool. We'll see how this plays out. Bye bye Dallas. Batteries in there. So I'm here at that surprise that we were talking about. That's, that's Tex over there. And that's Tex's rocket ship. And we're gonna go up in the rocket ship. <laughs> Looks fast. I got done with Tex and flying, I got on my way and pulled into this place pretty late. Ballinger, Texas. A little campground. It's in a it's in a community park that's closed. Their water's all shut off, but there was a camper over here. And there's just these campgrounds. On iOverlander, someone said that's the Colorado River. That's not the Colorado River, but it's pretty sweet. So I went to the national park the i forget what it's called the one with the rio grande in it and it was full so they said if you go back and ask these people with a ranch you can camp on the ranch so i'm just out in the middle of the desert camping on a ranch check it out pretty sick view there she is the campsite 